Hi, dear students. All of you again, warm welcome to Prashant's Maths. You know, this is our third class. In this class, we are going to pass through the nth term of AS. Nth term. Nth term of AS. In the last class, we have passed through how can we find out the mentioned terms of an AS. Again, once more, I am passing through the same topic. Be very serious and sincere. Okay. That is, AS is equal to 17, 23, 29, 35, dots. Yes. X1, that is F. X1 means first term. That is F. That is equal to 17. Then, we can find out its common difference D that is equal to x2 minus x1. Here the second term is 23 minus 17. That is 6 is its common difference. For getting the second term, we are adding common difference to the first term. That is f plus d. That is 17 plus 6. That is 23. Yeah. We got 23 as the second term. Then how can you find out its third term? We have passed through this topic in the last class. You know, for finding out the third term, we, we want to add two d's here. If we are adding first d, we get the second term. Again, we are adding second d, we are getting the third term. That is first term plus 2d. That is third term. First term here 17. Plus 2d means 2 into d. Here d is equal to 6. 17 plus 12. That is 29. Then x4. x4 means first term is here. 1d, 2d, 3d. That is 4 minus 1d. If, if we are adding 4 minus 1d to the first term, we get the fourth term. That is 4 minus 1, 3d. That is 17 plus 3 into 6. That is 17 plus 18. 17 plus 18 is equal to 35. 35. In this way we can find out any term of this AS. In the same way we can find out its nth term also. We can do. How can, yes. That is Xn. Xn means first term plus. If 4 is here, 4 minus 1d. If 3 is here, 3 minus 1d. If 2 is here, 2 minus 1d. That is 1d. That's if n is here, f plus n minus 1d. That is, here f is equal to 17 plus n minus 1 into d. d is 6. That is, we are getting 17 plus 6 into n, 6n. Plus into minus, minus 6. Again, 17 plus 6n minus 6. You know, 6n we can take it out. Then, plus 17 minus 6. That is plus 11. 6n plus 11 is its nth term. In this way, we can find out the nth term of the given AS. Okay. I think you can, you can follow me very, very easily. Okay. I think it is okay. Yes. Then, you can write the <coughs> next question. Yes, if you are sitting in front of me, again I am saying you must be very serious and sincere. It is maths, it is very simple. If you are giving me the full concentration, we can go forward without any delay, without any problem. We can very smoothly <coughs> <coughs> proceed our journey. Okay. Again, A is equal to 31, 40, 49, 58, dots. Find its, find its X11 and Xn. X11 means N 11th term. Xn means nth term. Nth term means it's an imaginary term. There is no, not such a term. That is nth term. Okay. We can find its x11. You know, 
x11 is equal to f plus 11 minus 1 t, f plus 10 t. That is first term here 31 plus d, d is equal to x2 minus x1. Don't take the d directly because at the time of exam, if you are right there doing like this, if there is any mistake in the pro actual part, you will get the mark for your steps, you know. That is d is equal to x2 minus x1. That is 40 minus 31. That is equal to 9. Okay. That is f plus 10 d. 31 plus 10 into 9. That is 31 plus 90. That is 1. 9 plus 3, 12. 121 is its 121 is its 11th term. Then how can you find out its xn? xn means f plus n minus 1d. Here what is the f? Yeah, 31 is its first term. Plus n minus 1 into d. That is equal to d. Here d is 9. Then 31 plus 9 into n. 9 n minus 9. Then 31 plus 9 n. Plus into minus minus 9. We are <coughs> removing this bracket taking uh, using um, distributive method. That is 31 plus into plus plus 9 n. Plus into minus minus 9. Again I am taking 9 n plus 31 minus 9 plus 31 minus 9 that is doing the subtraction and putting the greater sign that is plus 22 yes 29 and plus 22 is its xn i think you could understand okay you are able to follow me very easily okay in this way we can find out the nth term and any term of a nas yes <clears throat> here you are going to give you another problem okay now we can enter into the next question that is how can we find out the nth term of the as 1 by 4 1 1 by 4 1 7 by 4 command arts. As is given like that. 1 by 4, 1, 7 by 4 and so on. You are wanted to find out the nth term and uh, 21st term of this As. Nth term that is x. First of find its find its x21 and xn. Yes, just for getting and getting a practice, I'm passing through these types of questions. Okay. <clears throat> yes. First of all, we can find out its x twenty one. X twenty one that is equal to f plus twenty one minus one. That is twenty d. Here f is here one by four. One by four plus twenty into d. I don't know how much is the d. Yeah d is equal to x2 minus x1 that is equal to 1 minus 1 by 4 1 minus 1 by 4 1 minus 1 by 4 we can do the cross multiplication 1 into 4 4 minus 1 into 1 we can imagine 1 here 1 into 1 1 by 1 into 4 4 that is 3 by 4 is its common difference yes 3 by 4 we can reduce 20, taking 4. Yeah, that is 1 by 4 plus 15. 15 plus 1 by 4, 15 and 1 by 4 is its 21st term. Then you are wanted to find out its xn, nth term. xn is equal to f plus n minus 1d. Very simple. Yes, you, we can substitute the value of first term here 1 by 4 1 by 4 plus n minus 1 into 3 by 4 is its common difference 
that is 1 by 4 plus 3 into 1, 3 into n, 3n, plus into minus minus 3 by 4. You know, here the denominators are very same. That's why we can do the direct addition. 1 plus 3n minus 3 by the common denominator 4. Common denominator 4. That is 3n. 3n minus 2 by 4 is its nth term. 3n minus 2 by 4 is its nth term. Here you got the 21st term that is f to x21 is equal to f plus 20d. If 21 is here, you can take 21 minus 1d that is 20d. f plus 20d is its x21 that is 21st term. Here f is that is first term is 1 by 4 plus 20 into 3 by 4. We can reduce 20 taking 4. 4 5s are 20 that is 5 into 3 15. 1 by 4 plus 15 very simple 15 and 1 by 4. Then you are wanted to find its nth term. Nth term means xn. xn is equal to f plus n minus 1d. Here f is equal to 1 by 4 plus n minus 1 into 3 by 4 is its common difference. That is 1 by 4 plus 3 into n, 3n, plus into minus minus 3 by 4. Here you are getting the common denominator. As the common denominators are here, we do the direct addition. Taking numerators. That is 1 plus 3n minus 3 by 4. 3n taking at first. Then minus 3 plus 1, that is minus 2 by 4 is its, is its uh, nth term. Got it? It is very simple. Okay. Then we can enter into a next question. My dear students, you <coughs> while sitting in front of my class, don't forget to keep your notebook with you. Then you must pass through each and every question. These are, I think these are good practicing experiences okay after completing the total topics we can pass through the textual questions okay first of all you want to study the interior mathematics not the questions okay then come to the next question okay <coughs> find the yes find find the x51 and Xn of the AS of the AS 30 25 20 comma dots. Here you are wanted to find out X51 and Xn of the given AS. Here the called, uh, common difference is negative number. You know 30, 25, 20. Yes, pa while passing through the uh, question itself, we get this uh, data that is, you know, A is equal to 30, 25, 30, 20 and so on. You are wanted to find its X51, that is 51st term, that is F plus 51 minus 1, that is 50D. F plus 50D, that is 30 plus 50 into D. I don't know how much is D. Yeah, D is equal to x2 minus x1 that is equal to 25 minus 30 25 minus 30 is equal to minus 5 that is 50 into minus 5 okay that is 30 plus into minus minus plus into minus minus 250 550 into 5 250 30 minus 250 that is minus 220 is its 21st term Sorry, 51st term. Minus 220 is its 51st term. Then we can find out its nth term. That is xn. xn is equal to f plus n minus 1d. Here you know, first term 30. 30 plus n minus 1 into d minus 5. That is 30 plus 
minus 5 into n minus 5 n minus into minus plus 5 be very serious otherwise there is a chance for <coughs> making error you know that is 30 plus into minus minus 5 n plus into plus plus 5 here we are taking these numbers at first because minus 5 n is here for making the negative for not getting minus sign in front of just I am taking 30 plus 5, 35. 30 plus 5, 35 minus 5 n. Or minus 5 n plus 35, both are same. It, it is the nth term of this AS. Got it. My dear friends, once again you pass through the same question. Here the given AS is 30, 25, 20, comma, dots. Here you are wanted to find out the x51 and xn of this AS. I think all of you know, first of all we can find out it's a common difference. The D is equal to X2 minus X1. That is 25 minus 30. 25 minus 30 is equal to minus 5. Am I correct? Yes, minus 5. You keep it there. Then X51, you are wanted to find out X51. X51 is equal to F plus 50D. F plus 50D. Here F is equal to 30. 30 plus 50 into minus 5. That is 30 plus into minus minus. 15 into 5, 250. 30 minus 250. Quite simple. Minus 220. That is what is its 51st term. Then come to its nth term. How can you find out its nth term? Yeah, nth term means, nth term is an imaginary term. Again and again I am saying that is xn is equal to f plus. If n is here, we can take n minus 1t. 30 first term 30 plus n minus 1 into minus 5 we can 30 plus minus 5 into n minus 5 n minus into minus plus 5 n then we can do the distributive method okay then we are getting 30 plus into minus minus 5 n plus into plus plus 5 30 plus 5 35 then minus 5 n it is its nth term okay here our third class is going to wind up Okay, I think you are very seriously following me and you are satisfied. Then only you just uh, subscribe my channel for getting the notification very fastly. Okay, then don't forget to press the bell icon also. Then we can meet in the next class. Up to then, bye-bye.